Hello, let us understand the working of a DC dynamo. A DC dynamo again uses the same principle of Fleming's right hand rule. It states that the thumb indicates the direction of the motion of the conductor, whereas the forefinger indicates the direction of magnetic field, whereas the middle figure indicates the direction of induced current. Now quickly let us understand that a dynamo, a dynamo is a device that converts your mechanical energy into electrical energy. The best example is bicycle. We shall quickly go on to the construction of an DC dynamo now. now now before that let us understand that there exists a small difference between an AC dynamo and a DC dynamo. The key difference between the difference number one is, this is the only difference is, in case of AC dynamo there are two rings, copper rings, R1 and R2, which are connected to the brushes B1 and B2, whereas in case of a DC dynamo, we have got two rings. They are called as a split rings S1 and S2 that touch the brush B1 and B2 on either sides. The rest of the remaining things remaining same. So we can see an insulated copper wire. This is an insulated copper wire is mounted between the, the two powerful poles of a magnet. Ends of this copper wire are connected to two split rings S1 and S2 which in turn are touching. They touch the brush B1 and B2 on either side which in turn is connected to a load L. Now we can see that when the coil is moved in the anti-clockwise direction, now you can see that is A, B, and C, and D. When the, when, when the coil is moved in the anti-clockwise direction, A, B, C, D, after half rotation is done, we can see because of the change in the magnetic field will result in the current being induced in the circuit A, B, C, D. The end D is connected to the split ring S2, which in turn is connected to the brush B2. The brush B2 is connected to the brush B1 in the external circuit. Now, this shows that the current flows in the external circuit from B2 to B1. Now, the half rotation is done. Now, second half rotation, now D will come over here. C will be over here, B will be over here, and A will be over here. Now, this becomes S1, and this becomes S2. B2 and B1 remain same. Now, during the second half of the rotation, again, because of the change in the magnetic field, the current will be induced, but now, in the circuit D, C, B, A, the end A is connected to the split ring S1, which in turn is touching brush B2 in the external circuit, which again touches the brush B1 in the external circuit through the load L. So again we can see that the current flows in the same direction B2 to B1 during both rotations of the coil. Now, since the current flows in the same direction during the complete rotation, now this kind of current is called as an direct current and the entire dynamo is called as an DC dynamo. There is one more point to be understood over here, then what is a commutator? 
now after the completion of every half of the cycle after the half of the rotation after half rotation is over the split rings the most important things over the split rings they change contact that was it was earlier s1 was in contact with b1 and and s2 was in contact with b2 now during the first half cycle s1 is in contact with b1 and s2 in contact with b2 during second half of the cycle s1 is now in contact with b2 and s2 is now in contact with b1 now such kind of devices are called as commutators